on behalf of Group 3 Track 1, I'm excited to share our experience in preparation and implementation of the programmatic assessment course. The group members are Dr. Hassan Abdel Latif, Year 2, Dr. Dua Abdel Wahid, Year 2, Dr. Dina Kashkush, Year 2, Dr. Alaa Fawzi, Year 1, and myself, Tina Fouad, Year 1, and our enthusiastic mentor, Professor Hala El Wakil. Let the journey begin by the first station of the experience which is opening a communication channel using WhatsApp group and Zoom platform and the mentoring experience expressed by Professor Helen Wakil, which was a great lesson. She encouraged listening and feedback, supported us, but challenged us too. She ensured professional boundaries and encouraged the peer mentoring. It was a great mentoring experience. Second station started from June 11 to June 24. We navigated the online sources, searching for all available programmatic assessment references to promote our curiosity to learn more about this hot, challenging topic. All team members used all creative tools to engage our colleagues pursuing analysis of our creative playlist. It was trained for our brain muscles. Walking through the ML programmatic assessment journey, we discovered how to work as one creative collaborating team. The diversity in our group techniques provided a powerful tool to improve our teaching skills and self-directed learning. It was like a puzzle on each one of us adding one piece of the puzzle to complete the picture. The fantastic feedback of our colleagues was an outstanding gift to work more and enhance our teaching skills. Several meetings were held by the support of Hekmet on behalf of the female who supported us and um, provided all the meeting links all of the time. Several meetings with several brainstorming, discussion summary and conclusion in order to create our playlist and ensure that this is a creative, engaging one. The programmatic assessment and our journey aimed that by the end of this experience, our colleagues will be able to describe the principle of the programmatic assessment and explain the programmatic assessment cycle phases. It started with week one from 11th to 17th June. We provided a required readings, interesting required readings, programmatic assessment, the process, rationale and evidence for modern evaluation approaches in the medical education, Programmatic assessment in competence by design, programmatic assessment cycle, and we recorded an interesting video about the programmatic assessment cycle. Okay, in addition to an enthusiastic debate, just to engage our colleagues to delve deeper in the programmatic assessment, we encourage them to judge who wins the debate. Which assessment is better for enhancing student performance, the traditional assessment or the programmatic assessment? And guess which assessment win? Definitely the programmatic assessment. The week one assignment was challenging, fantastic. That was the feedback of our colleagues. They were required to just align which stage of the programmatic assessment was implemented in their organization using the 12 tips of programmatic assessment implementation. A programmatic assessment discussion forum was created in order to encourage chatting with our colleagues, getting their feedbacks, and replying to any question or inquiries. It was successful, 17 replies and chatting between us and our colleagues was detected. In week two from 18th to 24 June 2023, another creative playlist was initiated. And by the end of week two, 
We expect that our colleagues will be able to recognize possibilities and obstacles in programmatic assessment, evaluate the effect of programmatic assessment on improvement of learner competences, select appropriate programmatic assessment methods based on the level of training and the actual content of the curriculum. The required readings were about programmatic assessment opportunities and challenges, challenges and lessons learned, the impact of programmatic assessment on student learning theory versus practice, and how to design assessment for learning programmatically. And the recommended readings was from traditional to programmatic assessment in three easy steps. Wow, interesting topic. Okay, week two assignment was challenging and exciting too. Our colleagues were required to select the appropriate assessment method according to the assessed competency. The feedback was really encouraging. Lessons learned from this experience were definitely we learned about a new whole topic, which is programmatic assessment. Sharing experience was really informative. Teamwork is an outstanding opportunity to learn from others. Creating a course is an implementation of the experiential course cycle. We created a course, learned a lot from the feedback of our colleagues, reflected on our work to analyze what went good to enforce and what went bad to improve in next experience. Understanding why creating a teaching sessions is the best way to learn was definitely noticed. Programmatic assessment course started from June 11 to June 24. And it ended by the submission of the final report and our meeting minutes. We su succeeded to accomplish the goal at time. We enjoyed the journey. It was a fantastic journey. And we would like to thank the FEMA for this opportunity. Yes, the mission accomplished. Thank you for joining us on behalf of Group 3, Track 1. And this is the end of the journey with our mentor, Professor Helen Wakil, and Group 3, Track 1 member.